Yo, what up? Um, it's Sunday, um, and uh, we're live again, because we were live before. It's like a really bad deja vu thing going on, which is just bizarre, to be honest with you. Totally, totally bizarre. Um, anyway, yes, hello. <laughs> Constantly professional as always. Mazanga von Badman on the other line. Say hello, Maz. Hello there, people. Yes, hello, people. Welcome aboard. It is Sunday evening. We are um, cooking with Maz, except we're not. We just thought that would be an interesting <laughs> title. Um, we're still we're still toying with what do we call ourselves? What is the name of this show? Because um, yes. well, we, we just don't know what the name of the show is, to be honest. It's a bit weird. Well, we've been having a pretty good discourse this week about the <laughs> maybe titles. It's been quite amusing, though. It, it is. It is. It is very amusing. And um, yes, we thought maybe cooking with man or something like that, um, and just to prove that we have got him on the line. Let's push this button. Boom. Oh. There he is. Yeah. So it's more. Uh. It's more eating with Maz as opposed to cooking with Maz. Yes, eating with Maz. Yes, there you go. We have a nice laugh with a shawarma. I don't know what you guys call it, but it's really cool. It's just... Watch. To, to me, it's just... It's a wrap. That would be a kebab wrap. That's what that is. Um, yeah, but it's not... A kebab would be like a chopped meat on a skewer kind of... I, yeah, but some, sometimes it is. This is like a is. big wheel of pieces of meat that spins around yeah. and gets sliced off. We have that. We call them elephants. But we have... We have a lamb version with the chicken version. Um, and then and that, that's what we refer to as the bad meat. And then you have the good meat, which is the shish kebab type stuff. Um, and, and then that is, that is worth it. Now. That's decent. Well, this would be an elephant split turkey shish kebab kind of thing. Nice. You know, it's like marinated turkey meat layered up on this big elephant's foot and grilled slowly and sliced off. Yeah. Because I've seen what they have, like the doner kebabs, right, yeah. they call them. And That's it's right, like yeah. this big wheel of meat, of processed meat that turns around all day long. Which I always thought was, was mostly lamb, but apparently there's a good proportion of chicken and beef in there, as well as lamb. I had no idea. I'm sure there's a nice share of rat, cat, and dog in there, too, so I'm, you know. <laughs> I know Jimmy Hoffa's still in New York City hot dogs, you know, hey, we just won't go away. I, I'd like to say no, but actually maybe. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe there is. Well. So, um, as always, this evening we, we've had one of those, um, one of those uh, weekends where uh, I've been so busy that, quite frankly, yes. quite frankly, um, yeah, I've not done any prep for the show at all. I, I, I literally just so came you're on. You're quite busy. You're quite busy that you were is extremely impressive and it looks very, very nice. Yeah. You have accomplished a bit. Yeah, I, I'd like to say, yeah, I, I agree, definitely. It's, um, yeah, yeah. It, 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 it is one of those where you are, you feel good about it, but man, do I hurt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It, 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 it's, uh, you know, a, a lot of, a That's lot of work. That's the age seeping in. That's the age. No. Yeah. No, never. <laughs> How could that be? Yeah, I don't believe that for one moment. Yeah. Nobody called you a fart today, huh? No. <laughs> Why do you gotta be slow? Can't you be quicker? <laughs> <laughs> there, 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 was, there was a moment where I had to kind of just go, Carl, do you know what? I just need to stop. I just... <laughs> uh, in five minutes, the world is spinning and I need to stop, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but I must think it's not a small task, you know? So, so um, yeah, so uh, if, if you've been up to anything interesting this week? Um, this week, not very much. Um, I got somebody I know got a notification that they crossed paths with a Corona AIDS uh, person. Ooh. Um, that was, yeah, yeah, and that's pretty interesting because uh, oh, we didn't ever know how it was. Which had my dun 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 sound effect. You know, dun dun dun! Um, <laughs> I gotta fish that one out, yep. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that, that, that was about it. Mm, not very productive the uh, week that passed. No, cool. Cool. Yeah. 
So, um, yeah, so, yeah, if you are listening this evening, do touch Real DJ Joker Facebook and Twitter. I'm too tired, um, but we are going to play music, because that's what we do. And, um, yeah, enjoy this track for the for next few minutes. I'll do my best to wake you up. Yeah, that'll be cool. I, I tried to get my insanity we'll go get your own yeah absolutely I am um, we're back uh, back on air with you all now so um, th- this week's show basically is is rubbish because um, we've just done no honestly normally I, li- I at least get online and go oh look there's a new track let's play that but tonight it's as simple as that um, yeah we're <laughs> <laughs> So we're the band, we shut up, where's the stage, let's go. Yeah, absolutely, we, we made the effort, now fuck off. Um, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All those good performances. Which is why um, we appear to be playing Lulu right now. That's right, Lou, Lou, uh, and Shout. It's the kind of it dubstep remix. I have no idea how old this is now, because it's right in the bottom of the collection, you know? <laughs> in Ocean a, depth. In a sense, I don't play it very often. Well, hope there's not a really good reason why. Yeah, I'm just too lazy to dig it out. There we go. So, uh, coming up next, Riders Jerk It Out, um, which is the Doors versus Caesars, um, and it's by DJ Uzio or Uzio or Use? us EO depending on your pronunciation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dear. I, I Yeah, I apologise. I, I actually apologise for this track. It's not my normal thing at all. I mean, just because you show you how tired I am, I've just literally gone, oh yeah, Sigala, I like Sigala. I had no idea it was this pants song that was mashed up and made to sound horrible. So, uh... Honestly, my sincere apologies on this Sunday evening. Um, <laughs> the management, yeah. Yeah, I blame my um, my production um, partner. Oh man, oh man, <laughs> under the buses. Yeah, because he did nothing to contribute to this week's show other than turning up with food. Um, and he's not even sharing because he's a gazillion miles away from me. Well, somebody said that they didn't want anything that I had, so it's like... This is true, this is true. So I, uh, I, I, had, I had a roast dinner, of course, so I win every time. I, oh, I know, that beats hands down. I know your roast dinners, I've seen many pictures of them. Absolutely, if you're on Instagram, I'm real TJ Joker, if you want to see my roast dinner, I'll put a pic... No, right away. I was going to say, I haven't, I haven't put a picture up of any of my roast dinners, actually, because normally they hit the plate, and it's getting eaten. Wow. I haven't got time no. to get a camera, right? Generally, the statement is, you're lucky you got this, because after that, it was gone. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Whereas the, yeah. di- the diet food's a bit more, oh, look how healthy I'm eating, validate me. Um, whereas, um, what, 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 tell me the truth. Yeah, when, when, it's, when it's roast dinners, it's like, look at all this stuff I'm eating. <laughs> you heard it. Nice roast dinners and your barbecues are kind of like outstanding too. You got a nice variety and everything. Yep, yeah, there's, there's normally meat. Um, <laughs> and meat and other meats. Maybe maybe chicken, um, beef. You have smaller meats and bigger meats Pork. and flying meats and sitting meats. Actually, I have to say the significant other has actually come across a really, really good marinade for chicken. Um, okay. Which involves kind of yogurt and spices. Things. And it's oh, the, Indian way. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's it's yeah. It, it's the closest to kebab chicken meat that we've ever got. Um, and now it gets smothered on all chicken. <laughs> oh, of course. Either that or honey mustard. I'm I'm like an addict to honey mustard, but yeah. See, also the problem with with honey is that it burns on the barbecue. It, it, it's that kind of you've got to get the temperature just right, otherwise you end up with just a a, a charcoal outside and a, a frozen inside. Um, <laughs> It all depends. I generally marinate it quite off, you know, for a couple of days, and it soaks in. And if you got a problem with the burning, you know, hey man, it's part of the flavor. You Here, know what here's I mean? a secret for you: marinate your meat. <laughs> Welcome to barbecue mm-hmm. cooking tips. This Mar- sounds really good. I like marinating my meat. Right, marinate your meat. 
put it into a plastic bag and then here's the cool thing freeze it freeze it with a marinade on the, the, the freezing process ensures that the marinade penetrates deeper into the meat and then defrost it and then cook it and you will find that that flavor is all the way through your chicken because the freezing it blows up cells and you know it does the salt goes in, you get the, the crystals you got it yeah yeah that's cool. it works. there you go so I there, <laughs> See, maybe cooking with Ma is um is the correct <laughs> term for this um, show. Um, it should say cooking with Maz, everyone, but I was typing so fast I missed the Z. Um, or if you're American, I missed the Z. Um, see how multicultural how multicultural we are totally, here. Totally, totally. This is where we hang out. <laughs> <laughs> awesomeness, totally awesomeness. Although someone the other day did point out that my spell check was set to American, and they showed me how to change it back to um, UK English, which of course is the mother of all English. I generally put mine on uh, UK also because I like the way it spells color. Color with a U. Yeah. It's, it, it's no. A, yes. It would be G O L O R. No, 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 no. That, no. And that's the Amerikanski. Yes. Oh my goodness! So, so then I, unfortunately, that's the one I like. Right? Okay. <laughs> oh, I like that. How surprising! The Yank likes the way the Yank smells things. Brilliant. No, just color. <laughs> just color. <laughs> so what gets me is mold. Mold is is one that, that gets me. There's a U in mold in the UK. Yeah. Um, whereas mm -hmm. the, the American way, there is no U. And it's, it's kind of you. Yeah, it's it, interesting. It, it still says mold. I'll give you that, but it just looks lazy. It's kind of I just couldn't bother to put the U in. <laughs> you don't have to pronounce it. What the hell's it good for anyway? It costs you more money. It makes it look nice. It's a bit like that French guy who said um, hospital, and they said, um, okay, great. So hospital in France is hospital. Okay, and how do you spell it? Exactly the same. But we are going to put a little hat above the O. And <laughs> it goes. Is that because of pronunciation? Like, no, no, not at all. We just like it. <laughs> it's pretty, huh? <laughs> I glad. It's literally. I think. I think the punchline is it will drive the Americans crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well said, well said. <laughs> Which brings us on nicely to our French listeners um, over on Radio Vendetta. Um, bonjour to you, bonjour to everyone. Bonjour, yeah. <laughs> Badass recall, dude. <laughs> like savage. Savage recall. Je m'appelle Michel. Um, <laughs> honestly, those years of going. Yeah. <laughs> Those years of learning French were completely wasted on me. <laughs> the only thing that I remember about French class is my teacher's name was Mr. Collins, and he used to let me out of class in the first three minutes not to suffer through me any longer. So that, was, that was pretty cool. Thanks, Mr. Collins. Have I, have I told you how I scraped through on GCSE French? Um, basically, I, I, I was set to completely fail French. I mean, completely fail as in ungraded, which is a bad thing um, and I managed to squeak my way through with a graded result on my French oral um, I know what you're thinking be quiet so um, <laughs> la la, fifi. hello I am here to have my oral exam <laughs> um, anyway anyway they, they play this 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 um, tape because it was a cassette back then and <laughs> and um, I couldn't understand a word of what they were saying. However, y you pick up the most important things, and the word um, chips um, or fries for you, Maz. Um, yeah, is um, is 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 is, uh, is 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 pommes frites. Um, yeah. And I picked up on this blah 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 pommes frites blah 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 blah. So then I thought, well, right, it's going to be one of several things, which is going to be. Where can I buy chips? Where are the <laughs> chips? How much are the chips? Do you uh -huh. like the chips? Um, can I have some chips? Now, those were my options, basically. So I wrote this whole paragraph about it. And of course, because I got the right answer in there somewhere, I got graded as being able to understand French. But, uh, you slept the chips, right? <laughs> I was going to suggest why show name is, do you want chips with that? I, I can't wait. Mean, it's funny. You know, it's funny. Food's always been a major part of, 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 of the world. And of course, you know, so if I ever go to France, I'll never be hungry because I ate jambon, <laughs> pommes frites. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> Keep it simple. Exactly. You know, I, I mean, I won't eat healthy. I couldn't tell you what cucumber oh. was, for instance, in French, but um, I, I know enough not to starve to death. That's the important thing. I, I've worked, I, I learned my uh, kitchen etiquette and classical French cuisine, so... <laughs> yeah, I learned French one way or another, you know. I, I, I'll never go hungry in France either, because I know all the vegetables and all the meats, and we're really cool. Like <laughs> 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 I will not have a problem ordering in any restaurant. Hello, un tomato. <laughs> <laughs> tomato. <laughs> Salop. <laughs> oh dear. Um, shout outs to um, Tammy and Joss. Um, in fact, Joss is he's pretty much taken over the chat box for us on Facebook. Thanks very much. For a man who doesn't spend any time on Facebook, he seems to be spending a hell of a lot of time on Facebook. <laughs> you know, they say they say for an undercover cop car that looks a lot like an undercover cop car. Yep, the you blue know. lights are a dead giveaway. Um, well, it, it's <laughs> I, I hope you're enjoying this evening's show, guys, um, and thanks for being faithful listeners. We, we really do enjoy your company. Um, shout out to Timon as well, who is, an, who is an old, 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 old boss of mine, um, who seems to have jumped on just to, to listen. So, um, hey, hope you're well, whatever you're doing, wherever you are. No, no, he, he left before me. Boom. Oh, boom. Oh, he was a smart one then. Yeah. I get that. Boom. Yeah. Mic drop. <laughs> Bad company. Bad company. You know, that's always a sign when your boss quits before you go. You got to go. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Th those are, those are the, the uh, things you've got to look out for in the working world. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to try, I'm gonna try and find some other tracks. I'm going to try and find some, find some tracks which aren't kind of... I don't know. Whatever it is I'm playing yeah. at the moment, because it's like the so, I uh, say Superman folder. I've only got three tracks in there, but we, we, we can have a look and see, <laughs> see what's in there. I'm pretty close to it. It's a magical folder, though. <laughs> There's always something in the Superman folder. Yeah, do you know what? There is There is a track that's, that's, that's hit me straight away, and I'm thinking yeah, that could work. We so, have yeah, DJ Mac in the chat box. DJ Mac? Maddie. Maddie. DJ Maddie. Mad, DJ Maddie, um, yeah, Maz, who who follows me on Instagram, yeah, old fogey, um, <laughs> who actually commented on one of my posts today. So uh, yeah, shout out to, to, to DJ cool. Maddie. Yes, absolutely. Very cool. Uh, but he wants me to go and build some decking for him, Maz. <laughs> Oh, there you go. I, I would highly suggest Joker is very, very talented in the uh, woodworking department and the imagination department and the DJ department. Yes. All in all in a kind of, I don't know, little bundle of joy. Absolutely. Except when he's tired, but he's still cool. I do try. Anyway, yes, you do. I'm going to leave you guys with this for, I don't know, 4 minutes and 52 seconds because it's in the Superman folder, so you know it's good. What up, my Twitch family? It's great to have you guys on board. Boing! Hang on a second. That that requires some 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 of this. Hang on. Let's get that. Yo, Twitch. Um, if you are watching on Twitch, make yourself known. Say hello. Um, come and see us on on all of the normal usual platforms: Real DJ Joker and Mazanga on Facebook and Twitter. We are live. Oh. I like the air horn. It's good, isn't it? See how I can cheat when I got the shitty headphones? I can only hear you partially in one ear and really bad radio. I mean, it's like all muffled. It's horrible. <laughs> I'm going to take up all hype for this. I, I, I usually have a lot of fun listening to the, to the show afterwards. Like I, I get to play, and then I get to listen and be entertained. It's really cool. I've got to make my... Uh... Especially your things again, where I have one thing in one and one in the other. Yeah, yeah. That's hardcore. That's, that's how you know you know what you do. Exactly. <laughs> but since we are we, we wing it. Yes. Wing, wing, wing. wing. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm talking on the mic. Very unprofessional. Unpro Down to I do that. What? 
<laughs> yeah, but maybe you can go buggy, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I love that commercial. Every time you do that, I'm like, oh, God. So the uh, four-wired four four remix of Moby's Go. I was just, I was just like the um, church mix of this. It kind of it goes um, real heavy and hard. But that's gone way back. Well, we could work on that at some point. But that was a pretty nice track, that last one. Good beat. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get um, some real hardcore heavy music in the mix. Mm. Jump in bass, here we go. Jump in bass in your fears. Possibly another body parts as well. <laughs> well, you can always hope. Yeah, interesting enough, it's not that hard for a tool to speak, so uh, there you go. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it will develop. It'll turn into something in a minute. Just just stick with it, guys. You you won't be that disappointed. Also, what? Joker's gonna play. I'm gonna put my headphones back on. <laughs> Once it fi- finally kicks in, anyway. Um, there we go. If you've joined us over from the... Um, you know, legitimate DJ live stream um, Facebook page. I apologise. Um, I'm actually a really good DJ, but I'm just not in the mood for it tonight. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> but because because I'm under contract and I promised someone I would do a show every Sunday, um, I just turn up yes, and do this will. anyway. <laughs> and the truth will set you free, brother. Yeah. Amen. Anyway, enjoy this if you can for the next four minutes. No, I'll, I'll mix it out by then. But um, yeah, see, see what you think of this. And so I said, no, not until not until you use more lube. Uh, welcome back, everyone. Um, you're listening to DJ Joker and Mazanga Von Badman, where no cooking is involved in this show, even though the title, the title on, 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 the, on the video is Cooking with Ma, um, which should Ma. be mad, but um, yes, you missed the Z or the Z, depending on which dialect you enjoy what reading. reading. I think we might do barbecue next week or something like that. I'll get coals and stuff to cook and we'll have dinner outside on the, on the, on the nest. And we could like do that as a thing. <laughs> that's a, do you know that's a great idea. Absolute great idea. Um, so yeah, we wanted to jump on and give shout outs to people, but I don't know anyone, so it's all mad right now. I've seen I've seen that uh, Yahoo uh, a person that knows is uh, in the chat. Say hi, and also you said the rhythm scholar drop right up for a visit. So yo yo, dude. Yes, dude. In the house with your excellent rhythm scholarly type tracks, which I, I do pick up on from time to time, thanks to your phenomenal Twitter account. That's right. And uh, you know who else is on Twitter, Matt? Yeah. Us. We are. <laughs> of course we are. It's it's real DJ you, Joker and literally real DJ Joker and Mazanga. Yes. I mean, it's the most easiest Twitter following handles ever. All you've got to do is, is tweet us. And because we're so lazy, we'll probably just give you a shout out on air just because we can. Absolutely. We do a lot of things because we can. Yep. Breathing, one, drinking, one, two, one. <laughs> sleeping, Cussing, <laughs> revolting, sleeping, yeah. Wrecking. Can you, believe, can. can you believe we're actually an hour in already? We're already an hour in, even though technically we did restart at the beginning. So technically we're not an hour in, but, you know, the scheduled and time. And you said something earlier about the feeling of being at the dentist? Yes, that's right. That's right. Every every Sunday between 7 and 9, Maz comes on, and all I, all I have in my mind is... You know, you know, you know, you're winning when Maz is laughing. Basically, that, that's how you know that you, you're doing what you need to do. Anyway, check check out Purple Disco Machine and Body Funk because we just love the, uh, the the musical break here. Check this out. 
So uh, Rhythm Scudder has actually blessed us by listening to the show, and he's just um, he's just uh, you know critically putting a little a little bit in there, saying I know this one, and it's so fast. And I've just looked up at the screen and gone, oh yeah, I have pushed beats per minute just slightly. Um, <laughs> my tastes are slightly faster than yours, sir. I think. Um, but really, really cool version. I was saying to Maz off air, every little bit that was happening and the music box break. Ah, oh, genius. Absolutely love that. Um, so wow. don't stop making music, okay? Just keep keep doing it. That's, that's now the yeah, new thing. See, so now I'm not the only one telling you that. Please make more music. Yeah, make we demand. Absolutely, yes. But, but basically... Um, so that when we turn up on a show like tonight where we've got absolutely nothing prepared, we can go, that's okay, we've got a back catalogue of 50 that's tracks of Rhythm Scholar we can play. <laughs> yeah, we've got more Rhythm Scholar, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I always approve of that method, you know? <laughs> you know? Really, I, I was just complaining really, to the management, you know, that uh, there's not enough Rhythm Scholar out there. Really, Maz, because uh, rumour has it you and Happy Cat Disco have a thing. Well, i got a thing for a lot of them, but shh, we don't brag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't kiss and tell. No, 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 we don't. We try and get interviews. Yeah, and, and the pictures are, are just for personal is, use. Yeah, I think my main fascination is these are the two quietest guys that I know, and I gotta get some words out of them. You know what I mean? But Challenge. To, to be fair, getting the word in edgeways with you most of the time is bloody impossible. I mean, I only get well, I only get away with it because I can pull that I'm British card, and you're going to listen to me now. Now be quiet. Um, oh, I, <laughs> do, you remember, oh, do you remember years ago, years ago when we were on Splash, um, and mm -hmm. one of the guys on Splash, he, he messaged me and goes, I've never been spoken to like this in my entire life. And it's like, it's just Maz, get over it, you know? It's, uh, get over it, dude. <laughs> you never have, there's always a first time. Enjoy. Yeah. Enjoy. Enjoy the ride. Enjoy. Uh, right now, right now we are uh, 8:30, um, near enough, because both machines say say 2029. So I'm going to call it 8:30, Maz, and I know I'm safe. Okay. Um, so uh, this thing, this is the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> it's never been like that. All of mine say the same time too. Yeah. I, it's like entering the twilight zone. So you know what? What happened? Because the machine crashed, I had to restart mm -hmm. it. The time's restarted, hasn't it? <laughs> we both we started together. I can think that, man. Yeah, it's cool. I like to live in that kind of universe. So, how do you like a little bit of Jimi Hendrix on the air exam as Angle One Batman? It was extremely awesome. Did I you? enjoyed it very much. We've talked about this before, but I do believe that if Hendrix um, hadn't died. I believe yeah. he would be at the forefront of all musical genres because he was an absolute genius. Yeah. Dubstep in particular, I could just see him going into that whole, just uh, lots of noise. I agree with you wholeheartedly. And that is the soul of a true musician that, like, there is no place that he doesn't wander. Yeah. Much like this, if I might say. Yeah, exactly. We don't care what type of remix, what type of genre we, no. we, we, we play. No. I mean, pretty much Bring everything. I was listening yeah. back to a show the other day. <laughs> and all uh -oh. of a sudden, John Denver Country Roads comes on, and I'm like, did I really okay. play this? Um, yeah, yeah. But apparently I did. Um, yes, you did. <laughs> True story. I, I remember the John Denver. Yeah, that happens. Um, so yes, yes, we go everywhere. But yeah, great track. I'm really enjoying this evening, considering I'm extremely tired and have done no prep whatsoever. Um, so it's all good. Um, although I have noticed that the uh, VU meters are actually in the red at the moment. So if it sounds distorted, I just apologize. Um, yeah, they nailed it like 12. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got it, yeah, I've got it all the way up to 11, because 11 is higher than 10. You see? All the way up to 11. That's why yeah. my volume controls are slightly higher than everybody else's. Well, absolutely. <laughs> That's what I do. I used to do that on purpose. Yeah, so people have to turn the radio down, not up. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But you are listening to us whether you like it or not. Now sit in the okay. corner and take your punishment, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. you're listening to um, that um, You've Got to Pump It Up track by Arrow. And also, pump up the jam. And also, pump up the volume. Um, from a little kind of soiree of tracks by myself, um, which oh, I've, no, no, no. I've entitled "Pumped Up," <laughs> because it's it's Just got it's got, it's got a lot of pumping going on. 
<laughs> yes, it does. Kind of pump up this, pump up that, and you've got to pump this up and pump something else. And so it was kind of, it, it was a an obvious evolution of those tracks. So, um, Tams, just so you know, we have um, been talking behind the scene about Copperhead Road, your very good friend Steve Earl, um, and we've never heard of him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for educating us because that's what's so great about this show because you, 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 you see something and you think do you know what I'm going to go and, and sit on YouTube and actually listen to a track and see whether I know this person so um, yeah I've got nothing lined up obviously but um, hey you never know um, that's what I'm going to that we have got probably five minutes left. In fact, we have got five minutes left. The time works. And I can tell the time. Um, so, uh... <laughs> okay. So, do you ever see these things on Facebook where the first four words you see here reveal your subconscious mind? And the first thing I saw was hang. Um, and, and, and I thought, okay, hang. Okay. That, that's a bit of an odd thing to, to look at first. And then do is uh, another word as, as I can see um, and um, and less pry that's a word isn't it is less pry a word um, <laughs> <laughs> I thought you could get a cream for that <laughs> <laughs> sounds like it at yeah. least um, and uh, oh and break there we go so breaks uh, breaks another word I can see in there um, but I see these so things but every time, every time I see these, every time I see these, I then, I then think to myself, well, hang on a second, um, I, I, want, I, want, I want better words now. So um, <laughs> I then look again, and then I see much more interesting words like care and miracle um, and sodomy. The <laughs> word. <laughs> 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 anyway, you, you get the idea. I just find I always find them really weird, and I always think I've done them. And then I look for the same words, but it's actually a different one. It's like a word search, but they don't tell you what words are in there. Yeah. That's how that's how it, that works. It's the word search. I, I'm I'm going to share that actually um, on my personal page. We're going to pick up from there. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> but when people put these up, I purposely try and find really random words in there. So that um, mm -hmm. your know, words that no one else would notice, but on on a, on a diagonal, you know, there's there's Zod. Oh yeah, and back they they always like that the diagonal offset backwards up the ladder yeah. kind of thing. So so the first word I saw was Zod, as we all know, is the is the uh, main Batman, for, uh, main Batman, main baddie from Superman 2. Um, <laughs> General Zod, there you go. Zod was the first thing I saw there. Um, followed by Pose, there you go. Um, that's a sort of a make makes makes me there, isn't it? Um, so do hang Pose, there you go. And then I like to post these and actually write them in there, and people go, oh my God, those words are actually in there. As opposed to a uh, miracle. Um, and yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wonder. I wonder what the psychology or the brain work in those is. Like why you would see something before you would see something else, unless you look deeper into it. Exactly. <laughs> life itself and wiser the people that look deeper into things that yeah. they're looking at so we are um we're winding up we are um coming towards the end of the show it's been great to um speak to you maz and to all of you lovely listeners thanks for getting on board and listening um it's been a great show um despite the fact that we didn't really plan anything and the computer broke and we had to restart it and then maz turned it up and it just went downhill from then and he was 